Welcome to our lecture online. Now you may wonder how do we change from one base to another base and it's actually pretty straightforward. Here it is. If we have the log base a of x that can be changed to the log of base b by doing the following. Log of base b of x divided by log base b of a, the base of the other logarithm. And that's it. That's all we need to do. So, as an example, let's say we have the natural log of x and we want, we want to convert it to the common logarithm. Remember that the natural log has base e and the common log has base 10. So, here we can say that the natural log, and let's go ahead and write it like this. Instead of the natural log symbol, we can simply write it like this. The log of base e of x and that is going to be equal to, now remember, we're now going to go to log base 10. So log base 10, that's the new base. This is the old base, that's the new base. The old base, the new base. And so we write it the log base 10 of x divided by the log of base 10 of e. And of course, we can evaluate the log base 10 of e because e is that natural number. Remember that e is equal to 2.718281828459 and non-repeating decimal doesn't repeat so if you take that and put in your calculator and then you take the log of that well let's try that so <clears throat> there's my natural number we take the log of that and we get this is equal to the log we don't have to write base 10 because that's a common log of x divided by 0 0.43429. So simply, the log base e of x is the same as the log base 10 of x divided by 0 0.43429. And that is how that's done. Now let's try something like this. The natural log of 100 converted to the common log and then evaluate it. And then we can compare both sides to see if we did it correctly. So the natural log of 100, that's basically the log of base e of 100, that's equal to the log base 10 of 100 divided by the log base 10 of the base here, which is e. Now we already figured out what that was equal to, and we know that the log of 100, that's equal to 2. So this is equal to 2 divided by 0 0.43429 so let's see what that's equal to okay take the inverse of that times 2 equals and we get 4.60517 all right so that is the natural log of 100 is 4.60517 by converting it from the natural log to the common log but Let's now take the natural log of 100, because most calculators can do that as well. 100, take the natural log, and sure enough, the natural log of 100 is equal to 4.60517. And notice that it is equal to what we got there to make sure we did it correctly. But now you can see how easy it is to go from one base to another. All you have to remember is that you take the log to the new base of x, divided by the log to the new base of the old base. And that's all you have to do to convert from one base to another. Does it always have to be base 10? No, it can be any base. That's just an example. That's right. So base B can be any base. It always works. As long as it's the same. As long as it's the same. Yeah, the base in the numerator must equal the base in the denominator. The reason why it shows natural logs and common logs is because my calculator knows how to do that. I don't know if my calculator knows how to do the other bases. I don't think so. So that's how we can check it. 